This week on Fish Ed, John shares structural sweet spots and presentational tips to help you put more fish in the boat when hungry walleye cruise the shallows. Holy smokes, I thought that was a rock. <laughs> How cool is that? I thought that was a rock. We just were getting everything set up and I'm just getting lined up the way I want to fish. And this fish snapped it, and he, but he didn't really snap it, he just grabbed it and it fooled me. I thought I was in a rock and this walleye was just hanging on it. What a great eye to start too. Look at that, man, that's cool when you get fooled and it still works out because a lot of times, that's the fish you end up not getting. But I just kind of pulled back to just pop it out of that rock. And I suppose he just picked it up when it touched down on bottom after I come out of the, the first rock and you know, popping, just popping along. Cause I'm fishing really, really shallow water today. That's cool. What a great way to start the day. We'll take that. If, if I'm gonna catch them by accident today, I'm fine with that. In fact, let's see if I can just catch 10, 12 by accident. That's awesome. Great way to start. Awesome fish. We're fishing shallow water today, and what we're gonna talk about is jigging in shallow water. I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks to help you catch a few more fish when you are jigging in shallow water. We're on Red Lake today, and you know, this is just a phenomenal fishery. But one of the things about it is, and I've always felt this way about Red Lake, a lot of guys catch fish, and then there's a lot of guys that don't. And you hear about all these fish being caught, but when it really comes down to it, the guys who are really doing a couple little things when they're fishing in shallow water are catching more of the fish. And that's what we're gonna talk about today, because there are some tips and tricks to it. Let's get rebaited and get right back out there. That's how I like to start a day right there. I love jigging in shallow water. There he is. That one was almost right under the boat. <laughs> that is cool when that happens. You know, I was actually just popping through a rock and so often what'll happen is you'll pop through a rock and as soon as you lift out of it, a fish will jump up and snap it because they're laying in between these rocks. And one of the things I'll tell you that I think is really important when you're jigging shallow water is understanding that structure makes a bigger difference in my opinion in shallow water than it does deep water. I think it's really, really important to have something for these fish to lay in, in shallow water. Now here's the deal. Red Lake is notorious for this shallow bite right along the shoreline in five, six feet of water at certain times of the year. That's a great eye right there. Man, this lake is full of that fish right there. We'll get him back, but this lake is full of those fish right there. And here's the thing. There is a point of the year we're on Red Lake spilled coffee there. You're gonna be able to get those fish right up along the shorelines, but boy, you get to this time of the year, and when I say this time of the year, you notice the crowds are gone. I'm not, you know, there's a few boats out here, but there's not many people out here. We're past Memorial Day, and really what happens at this point of the year is people don't fish Red Lake nearly like they did early, and there's still a good bite here, but what you gotta do is you gotta just get off of that shoreline stuff, and you gotta find some of these structure areas, and Red Lake is full of these rock structures, but you know, it doesn't matter. Any lake you're gonna fish, if you have stained water and you're gonna fish shallow, it, it's gonna make a difference if you can find some rocks. Clear water, I'm not even gonna try it. I'm not gonna be this shallow in clear water, but if I can find some rocks, even on a bright sunny day like today, I can fish five to seven feet of water like I'm doing, and we can sit here catching fish. So that's the number one thing you wanna look for when you're looking for a location, is find those areas with rocks. One of the things that happens in a lot of these lakes is when these fish move out into these rocky areas, when they move off that shoreline, they just lay down in there on days like today when the sun's high in the sky. Now you take a day like yesterday where it was raining and cloudy, I'll bet you these fish were up and running all over this structure and the bite was really hot. But what you're able to do when you're doing what we're doing today is just pop in through those rocks, just jump that jig through there. I use super line primarily because I'm having to pop out of those rocks. And every now and then that's gonna happen right there. You're gonna have one jump up, snap it. 
There he is. Got him. That feels like a good fish. Just made a color change. I broke off a jig, so I just grabbed another rod, set up, and this one had a pink one on it. You know, you never know. Maybe I made a difference. Nice fish. Might fish this pink one a little bit longer. You know, color, I think, can make a big difference too, especially in shallow water. Because again, they can see better in shallow water. Look at that one. That's a great eye. But they can see better in this shallow water than what they're gonna see out deeper. So sometimes color can make a big, huge difference. So when I come out here to do this, you know, I'm thinking ahead and I've got a couple other colors tied on right from the get-go and I'm ready to change stuff pretty consistently. So I was ready with this rod and that little 16th ounce pink one. Look at that, great fish, holy smokes. Red Lake's getting more and more of these in it. It's cool to see a lot of these fish kind of growing up. You know, there was a time when everything was smaller in here and more and more and more you're getting more of that size fish in here. Let me show you what I'm using because this is kind of key and it can make a big, big difference for you. This is a 16th ounce Lindy Live bait jig. Let me just get rid of that shiner. But I'm using the 16th ounce today and here's why. When you're fishing shallow water like this, when, when, whenever I'm in shallow water, clear, or in, when I'm talking clear, clear water, I think shallow as being 20 feet or less. When I'm talking dirty water, like what you have here today, I'm talking 10 feet or less. Anytime I'm fishing shallow, I want to get out and away from the boat, okay? So that's why I'm using a 16th ounce jig today. If I were using an eighth ounce jig, I'm going to be way too vertical, and I'm going to be asking fish to bite that are right underneath my boat, and I really don't want to do that. I want to ask fish to bite once I'm past them. I want to be out away from them a little bit so I'm not bugging them. That's why I'm using a 16th ounce jig. The reason for the Lindy Live bait jig, real simple. Short shank hook, wide gap. I can hook that shiner minnow and I know that walleye can get up and over the top of it. And you know, I mean, that was, that was quick and easy. Just pitch it out and go. A lot of great colors. You know, I mean, you look at a color change like I just made, heck, maybe that made all the difference right there. Another one, look at that. That's one thing when you're using super line, you don't need much of a hook set when you're in shallow water like this. You set the hook too hard and that fish might come flying out. <laughs> I mean, there's no stretch in this line whatsoever. Feels like another good one. Oh yeah, look at that. Another nice eye. Holy smokes. Man, is that fun. That's awesome right there. It's one after another. It's amazing because you don't think about fish being in this shallow of water, but I'll tell you, when you find this little bit of structure in shallow water, they're here, man. They're here. That's awesome. Beat it, buddy. There he is. That's something else. Pink again. Sometimes that little change you know, we've lost the wind, and as you lose that wind, they can see better. And that might, made it, might have made a difference here. Look at that. Another great fish. What an awesome way to wrap up a great morning of fishing. I, I don't know that there's anything more fun than shallow jig fishing. You get to feel that bite. I mean, these fish snap it. That's another great eye. That is super. I think I might actually measure him up because he might be close to going home and we might keep one for dinner. Get out and do some of this shallow jigging. Pretty simple deal. Just get yourself in a situation where you're using a light enough jig to get out away from the boat. That makes a big, big difference. And then look for these areas where you're fishing an irregularity. You know, if it's shallow, but there's some rocks, something like what we're on right now, I'll tell you what, you can sit and catch them just like we have today. That's an awesome fish. Let's check him out, see if he gets to go home with us. Nope. That one right there gets a reprieve. That's a great day of fishing though. That's awesome.